Let me go again. What? <sighs> okay. What happened? Oh. No. I don't know. Um, Eric, um, apparently, like, Bruce Springsteen wanted us to accept calling charges. Oh, okay. And then there was some confusion with producer Eric there, so um, no actual yeah. interview with Bruce Springsteen then. Uh, okay. Well, my uh, understanding was he was trying to put him through, and he just pushed the wrong button because producer Eric is... Uh, well, he's not the best producer we've ever had. No, no, he's. Uh, mm. uh, but we're oh, very well. disappointed that we didn't get to talk to Bruce Springsteen then. Um, but yeah, I was talking to him about 40, 50 minutes before the show, mm. mostly about myself because he, he finds he that wants interesting. To hear about. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Sure. Yeah, well, it's most people want to hear about it. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, spilt milk. Uh, Knock at the yeah. Cabin is a 2023 apocalyptic psychological horror written and directed by M. Night Shalabadubadub. Uh, he wrote the, the screenplay. We doing from... another one of his films. We've done so many of M. Night Shelley Long's movies. Two. This is the second one. Is it? Okay, carry on then. They wrote the screenplay from initial draft by some other people you'll never hear of again. Uh, it's based on a 2018 novel, The Cabin at the End of the World, by Paul G. Trumblumblay. Uh, so his films have never been adapted before. His books have never been adapted before. The film received generally positive reviews from critics and grossed over $54 million worldwide. Sorry, did you just say this film received positive reviews? Yeah, generally. Generally positive uh, reviews. Made 54 million. I, I remember off the top of my head, um, old. The one before this made 90 million worldwide. This one didn't do quite as well. Bit of a drop. Oh, he's going to have to self, self-fund his movies again. He's going to need a human sacrifice to uh, get back in the good books with God. Oh, he'll just make a movie about that, wouldn't he? Sounds like a Shyamalan uh, twist. A failed about... screenwriter. <laughs> sacrifices. Must must how make a movie this? that watches how do we end this people writer's watch. Strike. Yeah. End this? God damn it. God damn. Right. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I, I watched this old. Was... I thought it was really cool. I enjoyed old. Fuck everybody else. Yeah. I like dogs. Right, go back and check out that episode, everybody. Um, self plug. Yeah, self-plug. yeah, we've reviewed old, and then um, oh, obviously one of our biggest, biggest episodes, really, which is saying a lot. Yeah, obviously it's, one of our bigger episodes. It's one of the episodes, and and it's in double digits. It really, yeah, R- phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Just, it's solidly in double digits. Yeah. It's yeah, solidly. Um, and, and then this one came out. Why not? What else is on? Let's face it. Mm. So uh, watch this one, and now we've got to talk about it. Yeah, we, yeah. It's good. And look, a little a peek behind the, uh, the curtain here. Uh, this is one of the well, rare occasions mm. that as two friends, we, we sat together in an actual room and watched together. it together. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we weren't on the same couch, but we, we were together in a room. You, I was on one couch, and you're on a couch that runs perpendicular to this couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so we, we were looking like, at the same television. We were. And we could, like, we could um, turn to each other and talk about moments in the film as, as they occurred. Hmm. Uh, so, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, look. We, we we had some dinner, we sat down, and we hit play, and uh, initial you thoughts, a, Daniel. You had a burger, you had a burger. I, d- I did have, a, it was a delicious burger. Um, uh, close to the highlight of the evening, I suppose, spoiler alert. <laughs> Besides um, the, the joyous company, of course. But uh, well, who was there? This, this was a fervor, your cat. This was a film that uh, I felt 
more often than not, you and I sort of turned to each other and had to comment about how something just something was going wrong. Yeah, lots of those. Oh, why? Why the fuck? Why? What's the motivation here? Kind of moments, you know, like just easy. Like when you watch a horror movie and the girl runs up the stairs instead of out the front door. There was lots of those moments where it all with the stars perfectly align in order to fit into the film. Well, you're wrong because I'd actually watched it the weekend before. Had you? And I really enjoyed it. And so when you came in, then you were going, ah, 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 and I was looking at you like, it was just me. I didn't think it was, I thought it was fine. I didn't really. Well, I didn't know you'd watched it the weekend before. Yeah. I'm what they call a pathological liar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or am I? Or a cunt. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, that's that's good. All right. Well, so you loved it, and you wanted me to love it too. I I thought thought not as best, but a good one. And then oh, like shy him along. No, I the thought it was dong just, I, thought it was, I thought it was just another shit film from um, Shamaloma Ding Dong, Bang Bang. Um, well. Had, let's had, like, had all the. Let's name a good thing and let's name a bad thing. Oh sure, okay. So you want to start with a? Yeah, you'd start a good with thing? a good thing. Name something you liked. Um, I was pleasantly surprised by. Uh, now I'm sorry if I get his name wrong. Is it Dave Batista? Yeah, Batista? that's right. Yeah, is that his name? I mm. I was pleasantly surprised by his role. I don't like him. I didn't like Guardians of the Galaxy, well, two and onwards. I like the first one, but I didn't like his character. And I've seen him in other stuff. I don't really, you know, I don't rate him that highly. And so when he came into this film, I was like, oh, fuck. Okay, this is, he's going to be terrible. But he wasn't. He was actually not playing against type, but he was a big, bulky, scary-looking dude who played gentle and caring very, very well. Yeah. Um, I enjoyed his seen, performance. Have you seen Blade Runner 2049? No. He was hired for the role because of that performance in that film where he's uh, a gentle robot who can turn on the violence. Okay. Um, ah. Yeah. So, M. Night Shyamalan thought the person to play this role doesn't exist in the world. Then he thought of Batista and went, oh, fuck, he's already done it in 2049. So, yeah, he's a good actor, Batista. He, he can, he can, he can, yeah, he can um, perform the task, get it done. Good. Yeah. Well done. Oh, I said something good. How about what? You give us something good. Um. Well, the kid can't act. Can she? Well, that's little, something good. Little Asian g- we wanted something good. Oh, I thought you said, oh, I thought you were good and then I was bad no, no, or something. No. We'll keep the balance. Let's just go good, good. Oh. Uh, what's well, a good thing? Um, <laughs> oh, I liked it when they whacked each other on the heads, put the put the bags on and went and smacked each other on the heads. Good bit of, bit of, bit of violence there. Yeah, Not gratuitous. Yep. Not gratuitous. <laughs> And um, I didn't expect them to start whacking themselves yeah. straight away. Off the screen. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, Poor old Ron. I, I felt it was a very intriguing concept, knocking on the door and going, hey, you know, the world's going to end and you've got to make this choice. And they're like, why would we yeah. believe you? And then they're killing themselves. They're not torturing the people. The killing themselves, that's quite an unusual thing. So, uh yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Now we'll, we'll do. It, we'll flip it, and I'll go. What was bad? And just the way you're talking about that now reminded me about the whole premise uh, of you're in a cabin with your family. The people. Most my my gay to. cabin. With my gay family. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and then there's people come in and say, you've got to kill someone in your family or everybody else in the world dies. Now, we're probably going to start a hot topic discussion here, but I feel like if somebody came to my house 
and my family and said that, I would be like, fuck you and fuck the world. I'm going to live with my family. Because really, that's all that I give a shit about at the end of the day. The world can go fuck itself. I'm not hurting anybody in my family, right? Easy answer. Didn't even have to think about it. So when I was watching the film, I was like, this, I cannot relate to this because it's fucking stupid. But the family they picked, it's a hot topic, two gay dads and their adopted daughter. So are mm-hmm. they less of a tight unit than your what you'd call the nuclear family, mum and dad, two kids of your own that you've, you know, um created as opposed to an adopted child do you would you love an adopted child any less than your own child is what i'm trying to say well the answer of course is yeah you don't love them as much do you you, you go well we we can always go back to china factory get another one get another like, one. like there's a plenty of them like yeah so i mean that's that's it so i guess that maybe that's the discussion point of the film maybe that's what they were trying to get across but yeah for me it was a a no-brainer like if if that came up in my life fuck you right world can go fuck itself um i mean secretly you think one of the 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 gay fathers would have leaned across to his husband and said look we can get a black one next time we could go to africa (laughs) I mean, would you do Asian twice? What, what do you think? You know, <laughs> is that too evil? That's too evil. <laughs> yeah. We just lost another <laughs> share of our listeners. I mean, look, we had our, our, our constant listeners. Should we go Asian twice? We could get, get a black in, one next time. Yeah, what two, do you think? There's two departments of listeners to point us and confuse. There's those that can can they can listen to Dan's rants. <laughs> And then there's those that can't. So you're, you're a Brad listener or you're a Dan listener. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Slightly evil. Yeah. Slightly that's, evil. That's it. Yeah. Don't, we've been cancelled about four times already. Um, but we keep bringing the numbers back up. So, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll clean yeah. it up one day, you know. Um, but Dan's that's mum a- listens to this podcast. So yeah. We gotta, uh, uh- I guess your your bad point would be that as a husband and a father, you you just couldn't go with it at, under any circumstances. You couldn't sacrifice yeah, the, anyone the, the, the at, premise, any at all. The premise I could not relate to in this yeah. life, so I, I couldn't go along for the ride. Um, yeah. As as a childless barren whore um, spinster that I am, this is yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The problem I had with the premises, I would have got rid of the the, the adopted kid pretty damn quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like if we yeah, faked this, we could get life we're, we're insurance. Both, you know, we've like, had it for three years. <laughs> Let's just get another. I'm not that att- like a dog. Just get but, another one. Get a replacement. Yeah. Look, is she? T- she's uh, she's getting is emotions. She, is she everything that we thought she'd be, or mm. sh- could we start again? You she know, did fail like, that maths test. Mm. <laughs> She's always squinting at me. <laughs> yeah. And let's face yeah. it, no one got her name right the first half of the movie. Like we were sitting, true. that was why that we were sitting there going, did she, did they call her Wan? Yeah. What's or Wen? Yeah. She's Wan. Wan? It's like, yeah. I watched the film twice and both times I went, no, they're definitely saying it differently every time. Mm. <laughs> Until the until no, the second half that, of the movie where they start getting on board and all calling her win, but mm, yeah. Mm. So I mean, while we're on that topic, uh, after we watched the film, I because it's uh, uh, based on a book. I did it, you know, did it the, the, the forty ten thousand hours of research that we do for every episode. I looked into the story and uh, whether you know it was a good. The film was a good representation of the book. Spoiler alert. Uh, in the film, two dads, little kid, they got to pick who dies to save the world, right? Uh, if yeah. you've come this far in the episode, whatever. Uh, one of the dads shoots the other dad, like, done, okay? And then the kid lives and the dad carries on. In the book, they kill the fucking kid. The kid dies accidentally. Yeah. But she doesn't yeah. count because there's an accident, not a... They have to yeah. fully murder them. Count. Yes. But did it count in the book? I suppose it did. 
But the two gays just decide, well, fuck it, we're going to weather it, see what happens. Mm. In the in the book, they're like, yeah, it's more of an ambiguous ending, whether it. All right. Yeah, this, really, um, that really that really let me down with this film. Like that again, Sh- Shabubaloopy's um, Shabupi, uh M Night Shabupi. Yeah, M Night Shabupi. <laughs> His films are like episodes, I've said it before, of The Twilight Zone. The great ideas. You know, like that one-hour episode, Black Mirror-style stuff. Um, entertaining, wonderful ideas, but not always executed perfectly. Now, I feel this film could have done oh, fucking way better if the ending had been just a bit more... Like, it, it tried to be ambiguous and you didn't really know whether they'd stopped these world events or not but i think it should have been more it it seemed to me that in the film they did stop it you know the way it was portrayed yes by killing this person all the planes stopped falling from the sky and it was real yeah straightforward and obvious it was averted yeah yeah i think it would have been a lot cooler to have it end they'd made that decision but then you never really know whether it was real or not, like they didn't. They didn't need to go out and see the world fall apart. They should have gone out, and it like just seemed kind of normal or normalish. Mm-hmm. And that would have been a fucking heavy, like nineteen seventies dark ending. You know, I, I think that would have hit a lot better. In my, so it was a little perky where they play the song. And it's like, oh, the father's with them always because they've got the song. Mm. One of the gay dads is there, he's always there. My preferred ending is if one of the gay dads started flirting with Bautista. Yeah, you know, he's like, oh, Bautista, do you like a muffin? Like in a, like in a say, I'm saying, way or in a way to escape? Well, let's make that ambiguous for a bit. Mm. You don't quite know, he's like, oh. Oh, oh, Batista, oh, big muscles, oh, gosh, oh. I mean, look. <laughs> and and Batista gets into it. more gay. Every Bautista, film doesn't need to be more gay. For no, you. we need more gayness. We need more gayness in every film. And and Batista starts thinking, you know, at first he'd be thinking, you know, if he fancies me and we get rid of the husband, then I don't have to commit suicide at the end of the film. So I could be gay for a week. What do you think? I could play gay for a day and like, I'll be alive. Right. So what? Yeah. Yeah. And then the gay dad kills the other gay dad. How how would it have been if the, if those three guys had come into the house and said, just straight up, you need to pick. And, uh, they went, (laughs) okay, you're fucked, mate. And he just grabbed the gun and <laughs> shot his partner, and yay, we're all good. <laughs> Where do they go? Okay, film. you've <laughs> got to choose one of them. They'll go, that one, that one, that one. <laughs> fuck them, Done. fuck you, fuck you too. Oh. I don't fucking hate you, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> that might have like, made a better film. They got a family on, a bit, on the wrong day or something. <laughs> oh, no, like, I mean, that. You that, have to I, sacrifice I one of them. It's the kid. Fuck. It's the kid. Get the kid. Get the, get the get the get the kitchen then, knife. But maybe but who are these film. people? Maybe that's a better film. Like the the four people that came together <laughs> through their visions, and then they that shows from their perspective. They go up to this house. They give them the options. The two gay dads get rid of their adopted child instantly, and then it shows those four people. How do they go out and carry on living after having done that? You know that would have been a. Whoa. Well, that's a sequel. Yeah, maybe. yeah, the next, the next one around. Another knock at the cabin door. Oh. More, more knocks at the cabin door here. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah, it's an interesting I mean, like, thought. No, it's not. It's more religious gobbledygook, four horsemen of the apocalypse bullshit. Uh, just, yeah. I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. I'm sorry. What if one of the gays had been raped by a priest as a boy? Oh, look, the percentages are looking <laughs> high um, with the way the Catholic Church is working at the moment. Um, but let's not get into that. I just think, 
uh, again, great premise, just not uh, the Shamar Milan doesn't have the finishing touches anymore. I don't think. I think he's just pumping out work. He's kind of like current Bruce, or not current Bruce Willis, but you know, just getting out all he can until he's spent. You know, it's not like Tarantino who's putting out ten films and all of them are fucking bangers. Uh, he's except like, for some of them. Uh, what's are you saying? Bad Tarantino or, uh, or good Shyamalan? Shibuki. What's the one where they're stuck in the cabin and it's uh, hateful eight? Yeah, that's but yeah, I enjoyed that. That's good. Yeah. Rewatch it. I rewatched it recently. It's good. I thought it was real slow in the cinema. Jackie Brown. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay. I I think that's his worst, Jackie Brown. But even that's got some good stuff in it. Hmm. Mm. For in that shine alone, this is. Seen Bridget Fonda recently? She's she's uh, she's, she's, a, she's a big girl, not to fat shame, but she's a bit of a bit of a busy whoa. Yeah, she's, they're going crazy about the Meg Ryan photos. They got photos of uh, oh, how Meg Ryan Meg looks Ryan? now. Uh, it's not good. It's there's a bit, she's had a lot of work done, Brad. She's had a oh. lot of work done, what and it, it, some of it looks melted. Oh, oh. <laughs> some of it's gone, Michael. Is that what you're saying? Uh, it, it's not. It's not what you remember. Uh, a little. She went a little too close to the sun. You think? Uh, you know that program, Spitting Image, where they made the really ugly puppets of characters oh, of, of celebrities. Yep. Uh-huh. She's one of them now. Yeah. Oh. Right. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to look this up, people. You're down to talk for a little bit. While I A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Okay, barely recognizable. Rear public outing. T, U, V. Two days ago, everybody. She's oh, a bit melted. Found. She's taken it down. It says page not found. Uh, apparently we're misogynists if we comment on it. Oh, I imagine look, I'm allowed to women will you be looking at up your face with plastic surgery. I imagine there'd be a lot more women looking it up going, look at that bitch. There's a picture of her with Michael J. Fox. He's also doing very well. No, she just looks like... uh, Yeah, Michael J. Fox looks way better than her. Yeah. He knows how to keep his hand moving too. Uh, Carrying on. um, If uh, you went down to the local uh, video store and you thought, oh, I'm going to get Look at the cabin, and I've got enough money in my pocket for one other VHS for the evening. What are you going to double feature this bad boy with? Well, I'm glad you asked because I forgot mm. to put any thought into this. Um, <laughs> Fact. <laughs> let me think. My default is my science project. Okay, watch that with everything. Oh. Uh, let that's, me think. Yeah, that's that's very default. That has no attaching qualities to this film. Not one. Oh, oh, oh I got a... one. I'm trying to think. Oh, what's the name of it? Shit, now I got to yeah, look good, it up. Good story. That's the way you do a podcast. Say a statement and then just pause for a while. It's called The Man Who... Yeah. A, B, C, D... EFG. Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan looks like a melted plastic cat mask. Mm. Was she ever hot, though? Mm. Meg Ryan. Oh, oh when Harry met I got her. it. The Man from it. Earth. The Man from Earth. You haven't seen that? Oh, is that like the original or is it a remake? Well, it's based on a stage play. Oh. It's all on one log cabin, and, and it's just a, it, it's just um, five six characters just talking for two hours. Oh, yeah, and it's a, it's a band who reveals to his other people that he's been alive for three, three thousand uh, thousands of years. And he, oh. they don't believe him. And then by the end of the story, you're like, oh, he did. Spoilers. But then did he? 
Is that the Ooh. twist? Oh, I like that. I have to watch that. What did you say that was again? A man from Earth. Um, right. it's, a, it's a planet in our solar system. Um, not far from here, as I recall. Mm-hmm. I'll look it up later. I'll look it mm-hmm. up. I, I right, well, look, I'll, I'll keep it simple for my... E- I, I mean... A-R-T-H. Yeah, third rock from the sun. No, 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 no. I think you're confused. No. Oh. oh well. I'll look yeah, that one. It. Man from Earth. That's one. It's it's double feature. Flat that. or hollow, right? It's uh, both flat and hollow. Oh, it's right. been proven by science. <laughs> it's it's like it's like two frisbees put together. <laughs> hollow. God, don't middle. you know anything? Yeah. Giant ice what, ball. What are you going to double feature the son of a bitch with? Uh, well, like you kept it with the cabin theme, so I'll keep it with the cabin theme too. But I'll, I'll just simply go for the greatest cabin movie of all time. Oh, God. Undisputed. Oh. Evil Dead 2. Oh, fucking okay. great film. I thought Where's you were going to say that shit one. No, no great. fucking um, Cabin in the Woods. Still fun, but ain't no fucking Evil Dead 2. That is the greatest cabin film of all time. Easy. Unquestionable. Yeah, good. Okay, good cabin film. Yeah. Hmm. And the new film, uh, Evil Dead Rice, not that bad. Not that bad. Hmm. Haven't seen it because um, Dan doesn't wait for me to go places. Because uh, Dan offered to wait for you to go places and Brad never replied. Oh, oh, yeah, that's, that's, feelings that's hurt. Me. Feelings that's hurt. Me. Yeah. I, uh... Uh, going on to IMDb, let's, uh, just to stop Brad from rambling and rowing. What are the, the cold episode. hearted bastards over there have to say? Cold hearted bastards on IMDb. Give this a 6.1. What a bunch of pricks. Uh, someone gave it a 2. Tame mm. and mild. 5. Kind of boring. 7. Pretty good film, but a shame about the ending. And 8. Making the apocalypse a personal matter. Mm. Divided. Divided. Extremely wow. divided. Mm. Mm. Well, mm. if the internet's divided... They've come here for a divisive, divisive, Div- definitive, <laughs> Def- definitive. Yeah. Speaking of good English, uh, uh, ratings from their mm. trusted, pointless and confused um, padres. What say I'm you? I'm going to six. I'm going to sacrifice six and a half Asian children. Oh, yeah, wow. okay. out of the team. Yeah. Um. Yeah, well, it was pretty you, good. What, you think it's over fight? Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, just, gosh. I mean, can you can you sum it up why you're giving it a six? Uh, great premise. Point five. Good premise. Uh, it kept me interested. Uh, I found the ending a bit weak. I found the girl a little bit annoying. Like in the real world, you would sacrifice that short child immediately. Um, there's no question, really. There, a lot of good people died. Um, to keep that child alive, not worth it. Not worth it. Hmm. Uh, look, I'm going to give it a three. Um, dead Ron Weasley's out of ten. I think that was what gave it the three points. I thought his character was great. It was nice to see him on film again, and then they killed him off. I thought that was wonderfully done. A great piece of casting. Uh, he is a white to- man of ginger color, like. <laughs> It's not going to last long. He had to die. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I, again, idea was great. Execution pretty poor from um, M. Night Shigorni Weaver. Uh, so yeah, just just a three. Not not much to not That's much rough. to see here, folks. If it's on streaming and you got nothing else to watch, so there's no new episode of The Mandalorian. Yeah, check this out. But otherwise, fucking just another wide berth. For this man's films, yep. yeah, Mandalorian jumped the shark a bit, though, didn't it? Like, it was like, oh, yeah, what's but it's, it's still it's half of it. You're like, what's it going on about? It's all over the place. I can't follow it. I don't know. And then, shall we come back to those storylines later on in the season? Nah, fuck it. We'll just one episode and leave it. Yeah, it's a bit of that. Um, but what are you going to do? It's Disney Star Wars. It's just, it's, it's. It's about amount, not. Um, it's about quantity, not quality. Is the word I'm trying to say. 
It's house of just, fucking toys. Disney Star Wars, you're just pleasantly surprised when it's not 100% shit. Mm. Do you remember yeah. how great how great it felt when Force Awakens came out and we all went to the cinema and it was actually all right? You know, they just remade A New Hope and we came out and we had all our theories and you know, those new things, Kylo Ren, and we bought the toys and it was all exciting. They we didn't these... fuck it up. We were they so excited. They didn't fuck it up. Yeah. We all thought, and, oh, this, this might be all right. Hmm. And and I picked it. I picked it. Ray's a Palpatine. Hey, man, that movie, she's a Palpatine. I can see it. She, she, she's oh, doing Palpatine do moves. She's jab thing. Yeah, she was yeah, jabbing was like, with the saber. That's what I, I had my theory. I was like, oh. And, I was, and, I was, and, uh, and, and, and two movies later, I was, fuck this shit. But you fucking went. Bullshit. I'm right, but fuck this fucking you cunt. gave Disney fuck your up. money. Yeah. I remember seeing The Last Jedi. And, uh, you know, look, I, I like most films, I just enjoy it at the time in the cinema. But that one uh, straight up threw me out of it about halfway through. Old Mary Poppins layer. And I know a lot's been said about it over the internet, but that really was the moment where I went, fuck this film. And I never came back. And then when we drove home, you spent like, I don't know, 20 minutes just fucking ranting. <laughs> I felt like I'd been punched in the stomach. Um, <laughs> yeah, for me, it was, I went in there with a smile on my face, and then as soon as, um, what's his name? Isaac, Oscar Isaac, mm. was doing his silly phone call thing, and then the... Uh, uh, yeah. B, uh, uh-huh. BB-8 was like a Swiss Army knife with 20 things plugging holes. I was like, oh, my God, this isn't going to go well, is it? Yeah. And then when it came to blue titty milk, I was like, oh, my I God. Like I thought that was fine. Yeah. No, blue mind. titty milk. I didn't mind what they did with Luke. I thought grizzled 80s old man. People talk about, oh, he'd never lose his hope and he'd never do this. Yeah, people change. Things get get fucked up and you get dark like life's life's not always good after the happy ending you know like the fairy tale mm-hmm. ending life carries on and it gets shit you know so to have that i was okay with that um, i liken it to last jedi was the rape and then uh, the revenge of the sith was kind of like you're sitting in the court you know watching the proceedings of like waiting for the guilty verdict Revenge of the Sith. That wasn't the last yeah. one. What was the last one called? It was Revenge of the Sith, wasn't it? No, that was the Hayden Christensen one, wasn't it? That was the third of the prequels. Ah, uh, the last Skywalker. Or what is it? Yeah, I don't even know what they... The Rise of Skywalker. That's what they fucking called it. Yeah, what a lot of shit. What's even your the title name? Sh- My name is Ray. Ray I walk. Yeah. No, Palpatine. Oh, sorry. They're making new movies. They announced new movies. I do new movies with Ray. With Ray. I was like, yeah. are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Read so the room. It. She's <laughs> rebuilding the, the, the uh, Jedi Order. So it's essentially what Luke would have done post Return of the Jedi if they hadn't fucked it up and made these films. So now they're trying to do it with Ray. And it's just. It's, oh, I'll if probably they were go. making her a Palpatine, she needed to go evil at the end. That's They should have gone evil. They should have gone oh, full that's fucking what, that's evil. That's what they're doing the new films, man. Fucking, you know that's going to happen. Um, and, and, and Kylo? Kylo should have gone good to stop evil Ray. That would have been better. Yeah. Well, hey, look, well, look, we know it didn't turn out as we wanted it, and we could have made a far better trilogy. Um, but we got what we got. It's done now. It's out there. You can buy the DVDs. Um, little little no Ryan Johnson it. had his way with us. Yeah. He's still and, making uh, another film, isn't he? We just need to get on with our lives. And, you know, the court case is over. It's all been said and done. But he's gone free. Mm. But he did you know to what? us what he did to us. I'm going to go out on a limb find, We need to find healing in, in, in each other. And that healing is going to come. Now, I, I mean, we can, we'll can we talk about this again in a future episode. 
But I think the healing is going to come from Indy 5. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is going to be great. There, I've said it. It's going to be fucking amazing. I feel like all the stitches around my rectum are going to be fully ripped apart again by uh, no, Indy 5. No, I want, like, because the trailers haven't been that great and all the, it's the usual Spielbergs talking it up uh, and, like, I think, oh, it's okay, it's, it's going to be shit because this is what happens. You know, James Cameron comes out, talks about, oh, Terminator Genesis, the best one, this is going to be great. And then it's shit. But this time, I just think they can't keep fooling me the same way, can they? This one's <laughs> got to be good. They wouldn't lie to me it's again. They wouldn't keep lying to my face, would they? The first oh, 19 God, God. times were, okay, fine, that was my fault. But the 20th it's time, a, it's going to yeah. be different. It's the, the world can't be that dark. It's, it's, <laughs> gonna, it's, it's all going to be okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Palpatine survived, and now the evil she unleashes on us is mm. Indy Five. I'm pretty sure of it. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. We're all going to we're going to come out of the, we're going to see this at the cinema. You and I multiple times because it's going to be so good. We're going to sit in the theater and watch Phoebe Waller Cates call Indiana Jones a cunt for two and a half no, hours. No, that's all and- been edited out. She's going to call him a cunt for two and a half hours, and we're going to have to sit there and watch him take it like a bitch. No, and old Harrison's going to just say, you're going to need a good slap, and he's going to fucking whack her down into an Aztec ruin, and that's where she's going to stay. He's Ah! going to say, he's going to be sitting there and be a full-on communist and say, that's what capitalism is, and he's just going to sit there and go, yeah, the American dream is dead. I hate myself. They've given me another eighty million dollars. So uh, fuck. Mm. What's Harrison's wife's thing. name? Uh, Ellie McBeal. Ellie McBeal. Yeah. Mm. Kalustra Flockhart. Yeah, yeah, she. I haven't seen her recently. Did she pull a Meg Ryan, or is she still alright? Uh, well, she was always ugly uh, and and far too thin. Uh, she's now older, uglier, and far too thin. Yeah. Uh, all right. Happy ending. Happy ending. Happy ending. And on that happy ending note, um, we'll, uh, another perfect episode. Are you stealing all my lines now? <laughs> like you're getting cold out of bastards and perfect. Yeah. I've, ju- I've just realized that you've got lines and, and now I'm throwing them at you. I've got catchphrases and you don't. There are t-shirts with I my don't. catchphrases running around in the world. My catchphrases. You've got... You haven't got, yeah, well, Dan's a cunt. That's your catchphrase. Why don't you use that? You don't have to use mine. Just did. Just did. Oh, I got another $8. Oh, another, another perfect episode then, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eric, you hit the button. Push the button. Eric. Er- Eric. Push the button. Episode. No, we don't want to talk to Bruce Springsteen. No, the moment's over. I'm going to fuck off.